What's going on YouTube? My name is Tyler and I'm trying a YouTube channel and uh, this is me what we're doing is just vlogging and talking about sports and plenty more. About to buy me another dirt bike so we'll try to get the GoPro set up on the helmet and uh, maybe we can do some you know bike riding like that and that type of stuff. Today I figured what better way to start it off than to introduce myself and just get a nice little video going. So like I said my name is Tyler. Uh, I got into YouTube but I, I didn't really pursue it pursue it when I uh, started it uh, a few like years ago and um, it just wasn't going you know I just didn't really have the time to put into it but uh, you know now with the coronavirus I figured it's be a good thing for me to start it up um, and yeah so this video um, is going to be about me I play sports I play football and lacrosse um, uh, when I played in uh, football this year I didn't get to play um, I got a job just it didn't work out all the way mentally I didn't want to play you know I just wasn't you know, there mentally, but, uh, you know, I definitely regret that decision. Um, I missed it a lot this year. And then I started playing lacrosse, and then the coronavirus came through, and our season is over with. So today's video, we're going to go through, and we're going to look through the bag, my football bag. Now, there are some things that aren't in my bag that I have um, that would be at the locker room or, uh, or under my bed. Well, I'll show you some of them. <clears throat> So I go to Woodbridge High School. This is the bag we get. Woodbridge, uh, like the bag. First thing, I'm gonna pull out walk through days and stuff like that. Always have a bucket hat. Cause of the sun or the wind, you know, you always have that Jones ready to go. You feel me? And it's light, so it's not like, you know, you'd be sweating in it. And if you're not wearing your helmet, you just be doing this. It'd be tough, you feel me? Um, next thing, I rock. With the clear visor, you know, because high school rules, you can only wear the clear visor. It's a little scraped up and a little dirty. Um, but still, I mean, it's a nice visor. But I'm about to get another one. This is an Under Armour visor, if you can't tell by the clips. And uh, but I'm about to get an uh, Oakley clear visor and an Oakley tenant uh, blue visor. Next in here, we have... I got a lot of just... Odd gloves like they don't have they match it with it. This is an Under Armour. Um, uh, what is it? It's the uh, I can't think of. It's the six H. The six H. If you've never heard of them, um, glove, pretty tough. I rock this in the games and practices. Uh, this is from last year's games. I used to wear these, and then I use these at practice this year when I did when I was practicing with them. All right, next up. We got my shots, padded shirt, right? Got the shoulder pads on them, like and uh, uh, rib protectors, a back protector, and then for uh, workouts and stuff, just to help with the weight, um, and like to help with the uh, just get used to everything. And again, I got my back plate just on there. Um, but yeah, it's a shut back plate when they're shut shirt, so you know we matching everywhere we go. Next thing I got in here is a Nike jacket, and it's um, it's both a uh, wind uh, breaker, but it's also like a rain jacket and um, a jacket to keep you warm. You feel me? So it's got a wind breaker on like the hood and the top of the arms, right? Top of the arms, but then on the rest of it, it's got like that warm like so that like, it keeps you warm. You feel me? But I, you know, always keep this just in case it's raining or uh, it's cold out and it's slipping on uh, under my shoulder pads and stuff. Got a headband, put on underneath my helmet or on my head for when I put my helmet on. That way it just stops the sweat from getting in my eye and uh, stops that line from like leaving right here in your forehead. The helmets do. So it just stops that like right there. Um, this is an old prep jersey. My prep jersey is at the locker room. But it is in my bags in case we do a switch color day. But uh, this is my my number from last year, 84. I played tight end. Number 84. This year I was number 43. Um, but yeah. Alright, so this is Nike, the uh, Vapors. The Vapor Jet. Two threes with a skull on it. I said I got the other pair, the other glove. But uh, this stuff was tough. Um, before we get to that, these are the gloves that I rocked this year. Our school colors are blue and white, so you know I was 
matching or anything, you feel me? We had the uh, Adidas, the um, Simple Gloves with the snake skin on them. Hope you can see, a little focus. So, uh, you see, you can kind of see it, the blue. And then this is cloth here, but it's very thin, so like your sweat don't like stick, it just sweats through. And then it makes the Adidas symbol on the back. And then to go with them, since we're moving like, I got, um, they're a little dirty, but I got the Adidas 7.0 cleats uh, with the sock on them. You can see right there, just a nice little sock. Got them to go with them, and then all over, it's got the three stripe life. So uh, they're pretty tough, I'm not gonna cap, they're pretty tough. Next thing here, you know, it's kind of, it's the off season, you feel me? So we get in work in and everything. Here's another glove. Uh, these are pretty nice. This is a Wilson glove. Um, the other one, I know where it's at, but I didn't have time to go get it. But uh, these are nice for like, because I play tight end. If I'm on the ground a lot, like you feel me, like put my hand in the dirt. And these are like defensive gloves. I like wearing these for defense. Like I said, it's all season, so you know we're trying to get that grinding. You know, we're trying to get the work in. You feel me? So we got the cones. Just you know, you can run little drills with these and everything, uh, just to get a nice little work. Next up, we got uh, footballs. This is the uh, NFL size football. It's the actual NFL football. Um, it says National Football League. But uh, it's, yeah, it's pretty nice. Right now, I used to play quarterback when I was younger. Right now, my throws was in between 35 and 45 yards. If I'm like, after I'm warmed up, I can throw like 45 yards my max, but on my average, I can throw like a 35 to 40 yard pass where it's accurate. 45, that's just me trying to see how long I can, or how much distance I can get under my throat. That's the first football. The second football, it's just a plain old like high school or college football, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is uh, college football because it's, it's the NCAA double A. Um, but yes, yeah, this is a red zone version by Wilson. Um, but yeah, it's nice. Uh, I like this ball a lot. I like that white stripe on it. You feel me? This is like how it looks when it comes through the air to white. Um, you know, it's just so beautiful. Like, watch this. Hold on, let me see. I'm trying to get it for y'all. Try to get it for y'all. You see what I mean? Like, it's just nice. But, uh, yeah, that's everything out the bag. Thank y'all for watching. Like I said, you know, I played tight end. This year, I'm not sure where they're going to put me. I played a DN last year and the year before that, but they might put me over at a um, outside linebacker. I'm not really sure. We got a lot of seniors leaving this year. So, uh, shout out to the seniors. And, uh, yeah, we got to get that grind going. Uh, we went to state championship last year, or this past season, like this year. We lost. We went last year, we won. Um, we went the year before that, and we lost. We went the year before that, and we won. So, we won. Two state championships, our first two state championships. So our program is really getting up there and it's getting nice. And uh, yeah, it's all that. Um, oh, I forgot. You know when it's cold out, right? Your hands be freezing. You're like, man, I wish I had gloves that you know, it was warm or something. So I'll be doing this, just a little hint for y'all. I take these gloves right here, nice. Eagles glove, shout out. I'm an Eagles fan, you feel me? So sad about Malcolm Jenkins going to the Saints. But, I mean, he is, I mean, it is what it is. That's one of my favorite Eagles players. It'll always be. And uh, I wish him well going to the, uh, the Saints. I was watching The Goblin. If y'all know what that is, uh, it's Jalen Mills. I was watching his live last night. I asked him how he felt about it. He said, you know, it's always going to be his big brother, which I feel like all the fans can relate to because he'll always be a team leader even though he's not there. Same with uh, Jason Peters going. Man, it's unfortunate, but, you know, you know, I'm going to miss them. The NFL is a business. It's not a game. And a lot of people, they get it switched up. But, yeah, I'll be putting these on, on and then I'll put my gloves on. That way, like, my hands stay warm. I still got that grip, you feel me, on the field. And, like I said, Eagles fan all the way. Got that, that uh, Darren Sproles jersey. Got the Darren Sproles jersey right there. Number 43, you know, that's what I was kind of hoping i get. That's one. That's my favorite all-time Eagles player right there. Shout out Darren Sproles. But, um, yeah, I just love him. So, he's just awesome. Like, his form of running for him 
it's just so great. And the fact that he's overcome, you know, height and all this other stuff that people were saying about him, it just so, it says so much about his mentality and his physical, like how physical he is and how mentally he can overcome something like that. Cause that, you think about it, you're like, oh, no, nah, that's not much. You know, you feel me? Like, it's not much when, um, you know, they just talk about your height, but really it is because it's it's a whole league. There's 32 teams, right, that you could go to. And then he went to the Chargers. He did great there, but then they released, or they traded him, and he went to the Saints. They did great there, and, you know, something he even said he didn't, he wished he never, um, something he said he wished he never even traded him to the Eagles. And then he went to the Eagles. He had a few good seasons there, right? I loved him. Man, he was great. And then he got hurt. So he kind of missed out last year, you know. But uh, and then this year, I don't think he's going to even retire if he hasn't. But, um, yeah, that's that's it right there. Um, that's my whole bag. So all this stuff right here, it go all, all this go on my bag. I'll show you how, how you do it. You got to put the football in first. Put the football in first. Like that. They go on the bottom. Right, then you gotta grab the cones, and then the cones you gotta try to like just force their way in, like that. And go with the gloves, the smaller things that we can just tuck off. So we grab all these gloves, try to tuck them all off, just you can lay them out. Go with the jersey because it can bunch up really nice. Put that in there, just like that. The jacket. First, you gotta put the headband inside the cones. That where you know where it's at. We put a jacket in there. Then it go bucket hat. Then we'll go with this. And then it goes the visor. And then there's the cleats down there. But, uh. So that's pretty much gonna do it for the video. Thank y'all for watching. I just wanna say, make sure you subscribe, hit that like button, just turn on post notifications, and there's gonna be a daily video coming up. Probably gonna be, um, today's Friday, so it'll probably be one either tomorrow or Sunday. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna try to get in the grind. You feel me? If you all have dreams, just put it up there. Trust me, God, God will take care of it. Um, he'll tell you if it's meant to be or if it's not. And uh, let me let me just tell you the blessings he's done in my life. Like he's you know took me through so much. My parents are divorced. I haven't seen my dad in a while. Uh, you know, and I'm probably not gonna see him for a while. Uh, but yeah, I mean it's unfortunate, but it's something that you have to get over. And God's gonna help you get through it. And um, you know he's gonna be coming back soon. I'm telling you so. I'm not saying go out and live your life in sin. I'm saying go out and live your life for God and do what's right for him. I know it's going to be hard. It's going to be a battle. But at the end, you're going to win the war. So you feel me? Like, you just got to do it. Trust me. Take it day by day, man. If y'all a football player, you probably all know that. Day by day. We get better and better. So we can't be beat. won't be beat. Yeah, you feel me? You already know that, John. So that's just it's the way it is. That's what you got to do. Yo, thank y'all for watching. Like I said, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Turn on post notifications. Hit the like button. Comment down below what you want to see more. Maybe a video of me doing a football drill for y'all just to help y'all get better at it. Like I said, I can help you with any position because I've played all of them. From running back, fullback, tight end, receiver, quarterback, slide, all, all of all offensive line, all D-line, linebackers, safeties, corners, whatever it is. Punter, kicker, returner, whatever it is. Gunner, whatever you play, I will help you out. Trust me. All right? Yo, just, like I said, comment down below what you want to hear, what you want to see more of. And, uh, yeah, we get that grind in. Peace out.